hello guys welcome everyone to my new video in the series of editor solution uh, as you know that uh, I made series of videos on net backup and today I'll be talking about the storage lifecycle policy uh, recently I was online and I was surprised to see that there are not that many videos specifically talking about the storage lifecycle policy and since this is one of the very important feature within net backup I thought of making one uh, one important thing to mention over here that uh, is uh, you can use it to uh, make duplicate copies and say if you have multiple storages in your device you can also use this to move uh, your data from one or primary storage to a secondary storage uh, I'm on the net backup server and uh, it is the same server which I'm using in the entire track uh, so to create the storage lifecycle policy what you have to do is uh, when you log into the administration console on the left plane you can choose the storage lifecycle policy and then you can right click and hit new storage lifecycle policy so what you have to do is you have to give a name so what we'll do is we'll give the name SLP3 and then you hit the add button and then you can choose the operation which is a backup so we want to create a backup first and we'll use uh, advanced disk JNK which we have created in the previous video now if you don't know how to create advanced disk I recommend please uh, watch my previous one and then we'll leave the default retention type and the retention period and we'll hit OK now the second step that we want to do is we want to create a duplicate from the backup so what you'll do is you'll hit the add button you'll uh, select the duplication option and now we want to use the destination storage advanced underscore O which is another drive in our uh, net backup which we have created We'll leave again uh, everything to the default and we'll select the window. Now uh, we cannot force duplication in net backup so if you want because I want to show you how the duplication work so we'll create a, uh, create a window so let's create a window and give the name demo1 and we'll select the time so it's Saturday and uh, let's select the time and you'll hit OK and we can also increase the priority for the second operation too and you will hit OK so your SLP has been created so what you'll do is that after that you'll go to the policy which we have already have one and uh, from this one you'll select the policy and over here in the policy storage you'll select the SLP3 and you'll hit OK so it's updating the policy and because we want to manually run right now we'll right click and we'll do the manual back and you'll hit OK so let's go to the activity monitor now and uh, as you can see that the backup has been started so what we are trying to do in this case is we want to have a backup on our advanced disk on which the drive is either J and K and then we want to have a duplicate copy which is another advanced disk which is on the O drive so let's see if we are successful in this one or not so as you can see the backup is running so we'll wait for the backup to be completed you can double click also and you can go into the detail status to see the state of the job it is connecting to the client
it seems like the backup was uh, completed successfully so let's go to the So let's go to the so as you can see that uh, we got the backup on our uh, advanced disk so now let's wait for the uh, duplication job and uh, we should get the uh, uh, data on our another advanced disk which is on the old drive so we'll wait for that so you can see, as you can see we got the status code zero which means our backup was uh, created successfully so let's wait for the duplication job now let me pause the video so as you can see that the time is now uh, 521 and that's the time uh, we have uh, given in the SLP window and the duplication status is in the active state so everything seems to be fine for the time being let's see now if we got our image on the on the advanced test drive or not as you can see that the duplication job was completed so let me go on to the advanced drive and here you can see that I got the information on the uh, advanced disk O and we also have the backup on the uh, the advanced disk JNK which we had in the uh, storage unit so very powerful feature within a backup I recommend that you should use this and it will help you to restore from any drive you want and make your life very easy. Thanks for watching and have a good day. Bye-bye.